Thank you. The Honourable Member for Calgary Fish Creek, followed by Calgary Lawhe. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yesterday, HS finally released details of the major infrastructure concerns at hospitals in and around Edmonton. At the MIS, frequent sewage leaks in the OR and failing electrical centres putting patients at risk. At the Stollery, significant safety, infectious preventions and privacy issues in the ICU. At the Glen Rose, significant safety risk for children with mental health issues. To the Minister of Infrastructure, how can you say that the safety of patients and staff is not at risk when AHS says it's clearly happening? Yeah. Mr. Infrastructure. Mr. Speaker, uh, the Alberta government and AHS obviously put uh, the safety and well-being of patients first and foremost, Mr. Speaker. Alberta has a very large number of hospitals, Mr. Speaker, nearly 100. And yes, some of those uh, hospitals, Mr. Speaker, are uh, aging. Uh, at the same time, Mr. Speaker, Alberta has a very uh, rapidly growing population and the need for new infrastructure has been very, very robust, Mr. Speaker. As a result, Mr. Speaker, uh, we have to make very strong investments in capital and that's what we're doing in, on this side of the Assembly. And I hope the members opposite will support our capital budget. Thank you. First supplemental. Minister, these are new problems. Come on. Given the Alberta hospital, a mental health facility says a lack of alarms creates higher levels of risk for staff and visitors, and patient crowding in building without sprinklers creates significant safety issues. Again, Minister, can you please tell me how you don't think patients and staff safety is not at risk when your own AHS says it is? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, uh, once again, uh, we uh, have made a very strong commitment to ensuring that the province of Alberta catches up on deferred maintenance. Our Premier has been very clear about that. He's been saying that long before media articles, Mr. Speaker. He's been saying that long before member, members opposite uh, uh, have decided to pick up the paper and, and talk about this issue. So it's something he's committed to. It's something we've committed to, Mr. Speaker. And we will ensure we're investing in capital, Mr. Speaker. We're investing in infrastructure to make sure Albertans have the best services at their disposal. Final supplemental. Minister, we've been asking these questions since 2010. Ask the Minister of Mice about that. Given these AHS documents show this government and this minister were not forthcoming with Albertans about the significant risk to patient safety at Edmonton Area Hospitals, will the minister now admit the same patient safety concerns are prevalent in hospitals in Wainwright, St. Paul, Bonneview, Brooks, Sundry, Calgary, and we go on and on. Minister of Infrastructure. Uh, it's interesting to hear, Mr. Speaker, that uh, 17, oh, I'm sorry, 14 people uh, have, have been discussing these issues for some time, uh, Mr. Speaker, because they're also individuals that often object to us raising money for capital spending, Mr. Speaker. Uh, when we, in fact, believe that we need to invest very heavily in capital, Mr. Speaker, they're the same individuals that say no. In, in many, many cases, they think that we're building too much infrastructure when it comes to schools, and some of our schools, uh, in fact, are not needed. And so we're very clear when it comes to our infrastructure spending. We're growing. Alberta is robust, and we're going to continue to invest in infrastructure. 